The program is called the CHCF Healthcare Leadership Program. We needed clinicians at the table where decisions were being made. The goals were, how do you take really smart people who haven't been trained in how to be an effective leader? There's a structure, there's someone who's going to give them the training, the resources, the tools to be able to be as effective as they can possibly be. Most people approach leadership through whatever their personality happens to have delivered to them. I'm good with people, I'm good with details. Whatever you are good at, that's what you lean on. But full leadership requires a whole variety of skills. And being able to develop the pieces you're weak at and keep the things that you're strong at is how you move further than you expected. And that's what you learn. I would say a good candidate is somebody who wants to make a difference who is excited to make change and wants to have the tools to be more effective in making that change. They're open to learning and they're hungry for that kind of growth. I want to dedicate my career to help my community and vulnerable populations. And I knew my passion was there and I had a knowledge base as a clinician, but this program would get me to that next level so that I can really be impactful and make a difference. In our executive presence class, uh, we all uh, are striving to improve our communication skills. It's really, really uh, awesome to have someone um, explain to you, one, how you come across, but more importantly, uh, give you uh, advice and help you craft and get your message across. I want you to go over there to the corner, All right. and you're gonna say, this is really important. All right, this is really important. Keep going. We have a huge crisis. Don't, have, go, don't fall back. This, we have a huge crisis. We have a huge crisis. Our patients are coming in. We're not able to address their needs. They have opiate use disorder. We don't treat it as a medical condition. We, we treat it as a choice. We gotta stop doing that. Yes! It is yes. time. <laughs> I'm pushed every day, and I think that's what it is. It gets me a little bit out of my comfort zone, but it's safe enough where I feel like I can can go out there and actually develop. They offer you a personal coach, and that leadership coach I've met with every uh, quarter for the last year and a half. I attended a seminar on community mapping. We were talking specifically about implicit bias. That's the secret sauce probably of the fellowship, is there's a lot of trust among us. We know each other well. We're willing to go to those difficult conversations. I really loved the networking opportunity, the chance to grow and build uh, relationships across the state of California, not just locally in LA, so that we could collaborate and, and do great things across the state. I currently practice in East Los Angeles. I Long Beach, California. San Francisco. In Camarillo. Bakersfield, California. I'm going to introduce Dr. Mark Alley. I'm going to talk a little bit about what we're trying to do with the state and I want to hear from you and get some feedback on, you know, what are you hearing, what are you liking, what do you feel is missing, what do you wish. To be able to learn about legislation, to learn how we as clinicians can be influential and to be able to meet uh, some of the decision makers for California uh, is really an incredible opportunity and something that I've always wanted to do. I'm very excited to be going over to the Capitol um, and being able to meet with some of the, um, the leaders there. Being in Southern California, you are disconnected with what's going on with Sacramento. But in this program, it really makes you aware how impactful policy is. You have a voice. It's a life-changing, enhancing experience that is like no other. So absolutely, no question, I would recommend it. And here's what we need to do to improve the efficiency and the effectiveness of what we're doing. We will improve the care we're providing. Woo!